Sean leading up to the break is always a speculation. It's going to do this, it's going to do that. What was it, what was it really like? Um, what was it really like? I mean, it was probably similar to a lot of deadlines, you know? I mean, you um, gauge interest around the league and you, you know, you try and um, make your team better when, if you can and when you can. But, you know, staying true to um, the goals that have sort of been outlined over the course of the last 18 months of just doing it strategically and being patient and waiting. And if you see something that you can, you can act upon that helps um, us not only just right now, but you know, going into the future, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the moves and you expound on the moves that you did make? First Tyler from Rashad and then Rashad being dealt with Dante. Yeah, um, well, I, I think the first move, um, you know, by, by moving Tyler, you know, I think that, um, firstly, you know, I give our, our coaching staff a lot of credit, um, you know, with how they've developed not only Tyler, but all our guys throughout the course of the year, and they've done a nice job there. And it's, it's always difficult to have, you know, to see a guy move, and especially a guy like Tyler, who is, um, you know, the epitome of, you know, everything, we did everything we've asked for him to do. So, you know, he worked hard, developed himself, um, you know, all the old cliches of first guy in the gym, last guy to leave sort of thing. You know, he, he was that. But this was a great opportunity for him. Uh, he gets to go to a, pl uh, a playoff team, and um, and Milwaukee wanted him, wanted him badly, and and that sort of reflected in, in what they had to give up uh, to get him. And then the swap for Dante. Yeah, you know, um, Dante Cunningham is somebody I'm familiar with. I think our whole group is familiar with, and uh, you know, with with Rondé being out right now, um, and obviously now you know losing Tyler as well. Dante gives us. You know, a, a positional need, you know, fills that a little bit of void there. But he also brings us toughness, grit. Um, he's a veteran. You know, he's been on multiple teams. He's been on playoff teams. Um, he's been in big moments. And I think what he'll add to, to our group um, will be important. In your mind, does it better, um, better balance out the roster? <clears throat> I mean, when you looked at how thin you were at mm. power forward, and I'm not going to say blood at center, but you had a number of centers. I mean, does it kind of balance that out better? Yeah, you know, I think it definitely helps that. I think what what um, what Dante will bring, as I said before, will certainly help not only the roster. It, you know, it'll help the locker room. It'll help, you know, how we how we finish out the the rest of the season. In terms of now, obviously, you played with him. Um, understanding that you know you knew him, and that issue um, that he had a couple of years ago was obviously clearly resolved. But did your relationship with him help in any way in terms of knowing? I know this guy will fit the culture. I, I know him personally. I've played with him. I've been on the court with him. Mm. Well, you know, there's definitely a level of familiarity that I have I have with him. But again, this just you know, it's again, it's it's never going to be me making this decision. This is a decision that um, you know the whole front office makes from an analytical standpoint, from a cap evaluation standpoint, and then obviously we we. Um, uh, discuss this with our coaches. You know, every move we make is say, hey, look, this is why we would like to do this. This is what do you guys think? And to your point before, Brian, when you say, you know, does it help balance out the roster? That was definitely something that um, that Kenny and the staff were looking for. And how did you uh, how did you convince New Orleans to part with him? Because for a guy that they were just going to wait, I mean, what what was what was in it for them? Um, look, I, I never get into it with, with other teams. I mean, everybody has their, their own ideas of what works for their team. And, and, and um, you know, I'm solely, you know, trying to figure out with, with my group what works for us. <laughs> and that's kind of where we're at. Jeremy uh, was reported that he uh, exercised his player option. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you expected? Because that $12.5 million now, you know, can't be used for next off season? It, yeah, it's certainly something we expected. I mean, we've talked about it for quite some time now with his representatives, so we've known that was that was definitely no surprise.